This week on Life on Jupiter, it's time to clip our wings and become a motorboat. The mast is coming down. Today is mast dropping day. I was going to say, we can hardly see the top of the mast in this fog, but no, we can see the mast. But uh, it'll burn off soon. But this is our first real fog that we've had for a year. A year and a half. Yeah. Cape Town. Yeah. Is that last fog? Yeah. It's cool. It's nice. There's a beautiful little river here at Catskill. So, big day, the, everything's prepared now. Ran out of time yesterday, but yeah, we got the wooden crutches set up. Can you see that up there? Um, one of them's laying down still, but yeah, the one on the bow. So hopefully they will hold our mast still while we cross the Great Lakes. And we got a new anchor. Oh yeah, we lost one three days ago, got one yesterday. <laughs> I mean, it's very convenient here in America, but uh, still costs a lot of money. We're all set now to head up the river into the Erie Canal. There's about 35 locks that we have to go through before we get to Buffalo. So, uh, it's slow progress, I guess, but it's going to be different. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> and hopefully beautiful. I'm sure it'll be beautiful. Yeah. So that morning train. There's about 30 of those morning trains. You can see the clouds or mm. the fog. It's, mm. it's like we're flying. <laughs> <laughs> I was interested to see how these guys were going to do this job. What goes up must come down. How can you do that? Wow. Can you do that? <laughs> uh, oh, God. God. I don't like it. You That's really so love that. Know, you know? <laughs> wow. But I'd like to see you going up that way. <laughs> <laughs> I can, but I use my feet. Now, with the crane taking the weight, off come the shrouds. Maneuvering a mast like this just takes a bit of forethought. Attaching the sling just above the center of gravity will allow the crane to take the weight of the mast while a little bit of muscle power on the bottom end will help steer and control and position the mast to put it where you want it. It 
seems we all forgot about the swept back spreaders. We could roll the mast around the other way, but with it already in the sling, that would have been a challenge. So instead, we just shuffled the mast forward a bit further for the spreaders to clear the bimini. scary part's over. Now we just have to make sure it doesn't move. It's a mess, B. It's a mess. <laughs> I, think, I think it's from the movie. It's a mess. Because it's a mess. Senator Cam Brady, <laughs> he's a mess. <laughs> Securing your stick to the deck is not just tying it down. You need to make sure that it's not going to move in the waves on the Great Lakes, sideways or backwards and forwards. With a wide platform of a catamaran, that's actually pretty easy to do. The final job would be a clean up of all the shrouds and anything dangling. And to stop the furler flopping around up front, I used a splint. One other common question would be, not counting fuel costs, but what are the other costs associated with doing the Great Loop? And of course, for us, since we had to drop the mast and raise it again, there's costs involved there. And I'll be discussing that when we're doing it. The only cost that we came across was the Erie Canal. And it wasn't a cost for us. Normally there was a charge, I believe it was about $130 for the, the, for the lock passes to get through the 35 locks on the Erie Canal. But in the year 2021, and I just checked, 2022, the fees are waived. It's free! That's awesome. There are no other fees except for your choice, marina fees, uh, and... Your fuel, of course. We're in New York! <laughs> Perhaps you don't realize that our YouTube videos are actually about six months behind. If you'd like to stay up to date with what Jupiter 2 and the crew are doing, we'd love to have you on the Patreon Prime Crew, where you can have real-time weekly updates, early vids with no ads, join the Facebook group, free consulting, and even come aboard Jupiter and go for a sail. Why don't you call it over that race? The official beginning of the new chapter. We are a motorboat. <laughs> motorboat, motorboat. You don't know what that means, do you, B? No. What? Motorboat. Wookie? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll tell her later. Yeah, a beautiful day. Yesterday was a bit rainy. Yeah. But we got the mast down before it started raining, so that's okay. And it all went pretty well. The boys are pretty good. Mm. Uh, cost a little bit more than I thought just because of the tax. I always forget to add the tax here. We are northbound up the Hudson. And I can't believe that there's a huge ship about to come down on top of us right now. Yeah, wow. But soon, we'll be going under low bridges and low power lines. And uh, today, we're going to get to Albany, which is only 20 miles more, four hours. We're going to do some shopping. 
yeah. because after Albany, there's not much, yeah. not many towns. So yeah, just after Albany, we're going to turn left down the Erie Canal, and then we've got like 35 locks to get through. Oh, how exciting. So it's going to take a good 10 days, I think, to get to Buffalo. Yeah. So yeah, it's a bit of a weird feeling. No mask. And I don't know, because we're driving so slow, five knots is about on one engine for good economy. That's all we want to do. <sighs> Look at this Atlantic Borg. There's a bit of a bow wave she's given wow. us right here. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> wow. And we need to celebrate because... Oh, not yet. Why? Not yet. Why? So the HSBC bank tells us that, that they've happened. changed my mobile phone number now. Only after one year of trying. <laughs> and then? And... But I haven't tried it yet. Maybe later today I'll it get a chance. It should but you'll never know. Yeah. There'll be some we'll new try. problem, I'm, I'm sure there will. Anyway. <laughs> and then after that, we can celebrate. I think we're going to go out to dinner tonight, yeah. Really? Start a new chapter with new finances, uh, hopefully. Are we a power boat now? Yeah, motorboat. No, we are a damage you, boat. <laughs> you got to, we're not a hurricane damage boat. You got to do the motorboat, motorboat. You do it. You gotta say motorboat, motorboat. Uh, is it a robot? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to tell you? Yeah. It's a sexual activity. Yeah. If I put my face between your boobies and go, <laughs> that's motorboat. That's motorboating. Is it? Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> She's not impressed. <laughs> Another consideration before we head off is to have the right equipment. Uh, we read online, someone recommended the big 22 inch fenders, the big strawberries or the big, the big balls. So we got two of those from Defender at that time. They were about $100 each and we, and we bought two. And we are thankful we did. We gotta pump up our big balls. We got Jupiter's got big balls. What do you call me balls? Huh? Balls. Balls. <laughs> so, uh, big salad bowl. We're gonna use a scuba tank. This is a spare octopus. I've got the right uh, attachment for the, the hose. Pretty low, eh? Hey? Uh -huh. To start. <laughs> Hopefully, this works. I don't want red, I want white. <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, we can use that for exercise. <laughs> <laughs> or a seat, an ergonomic seat. <laughs> Why it's a bit curvy? Yeah, this. I'm good. It's just been folded a long time. Yeah. 
flies bite here in America. Why? <laughs> Now Jupiter has two balls. Jupy's got big balls. <laughs> oh, Jupiter is a boy. It's been over one year. It was Cape Town. It's probably March, April last year. And what are we now? July, August? That I've not been able to access my, the bulk of my savings, which was in Hong Kong HSBC. As soon as my Australian SIM card in my phone wouldn't work in uh, in South Africa, I think it was, and, and then it expired because it was not used for so long. And they send a one-time pin to that goddamn number. So I've been trying to change my mobile phone number with Hong Kong HSBC for over a year. And finally, they've accepted it. Two months ago, we went to the branch in Miami, confirmed my identity, did all the right forms, sent it to Hong Kong, and it still take two months for them to change my number. In their infinitely small wisdom, they wanted me to call from a HSBC branch. And I said, I'm in the USA. It's 12 hours difference to you when the branch is open here, you're closed. Finally, after, what, two nights ago, I spoke to them again for the hundredth time and they actually got that through their thick skulls. They got that, finally. And now they changed my number and I'm online. I can access my money. I'm gonna get it all out right now. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to Singapore. my good mate Roger in Zimbabwe he's just, <laughs> <laughs> he's been asking for an investment I'm gonna do it now <laughs> who's that <laughs> oh my god fuck me I can't believe it whoa I'm gonna empty this sucker out now <laughs> are you gonna close that account well I'm gonna empty most of it out yeah oh I gotta work out how to do that now oh, oh god I need to get drunk <laughs> I need a celebration B gonna be big celebration <laughs> so the celebration will make us fat oh, I don't care about that <laughs> oh um, my god all right empty these accounts